Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the readable question find first palindromic string in the array. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So we have to find the first palindromic string, right? And uh, that's why uh, we iterate through all words one by one from beginning. And uh, how can we find the palindromic string? So a string is palindromic if it reads the same word and backward. So that means if we reverse a word, so we will get the same word, right? So that's why when we iterate through uh, all words one by one, and uh, we reverse each word, and then compare our original word and the reversed word, and if they are same, we find a palindromic string, right? So in this case, uh, so first of all, we find ABA. So reverse uh, word should be CBA, right? So they are defined, right? So that's why we move next. So we have car, and the reverse word should be RAC. So they are defined, right? And then move next, we find the ADA, and the reverse word is uh, ADA. So they are same, right? So that's why we should uh, return ADA. So that's why output is ADA, right? Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. And I'll show you two ways. And uh, first of all, so for word in words, and then if word equal so word and then we need to uh, reverse word so we can do like this colon colon minus one and then if they are same return just word and then if we don't find a uh, uh, palindromic string so we just return empty string yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n multiply m where n is the number of words in the list and m is the average length of the words. And the space complexity is, I think, 0, 01. Okay, so I'll show you the second way. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, so it iterates through all words one by one. So word in words. And uh, we use a two pointer. So left pointer always zero and the right pointer is always from the last. So length of word minus one. And then while so word and the left equal word right. And then in the case left plus equal one and the right minus equal one. And then if um, left is greater than or equal right. In the case return word. After that, uh, if we don't find uh, any palindromic string, so we just return empty string. And uh, be careful, um, this is not equal, so greater than or equal. Why? So there is a case where we have only one character, like A. In the case, left equals zero, right? And the right is also zero. And then they are same, right? A and A. So in the case, uh, left, so we add plus one to left, and we add minus one to right. So in the case, now left is greater than right. So that's why uh, if we use equal here, so we cannot return A here, right? So that's why we need a greater than or equal here. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, it looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be actually same, order of n multiplied m, where n is the number of words in the list and m is the average length of the word. And the space complexity is also same, and O1. We don't use a extra data structure, so that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So please support me with the action, such as comment and the hitting like button. I'll show you. I'll see you in the next question.